नौ नई कहल मे खले हुआ हे हले ले हुआ नौ या न कनो ए ओ ख उ नौ या या नो इनै ए लि अने हो यो कहि कि मै अ हि कि मै नो ओ खो हि कि फु नो मे के अलोहा अलोहा ए अलोहा ए अलोहा ए Choose the band. We have uh, to my left side, which is your right. We have Brother Kimo on the fourth string and sixth string ukulele. He is from the beautiful island of Harbor City. <laughs> <laughs> you can visit Manoste. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, also on my right side, which is your left, I have Brother Kainoa Laimana. Uh, they call him Son. Junior boy. And junior boy. <laughs> Sometimes when we're playing, I call him something else. <laughs> no, but. And it's my brother. He plays the six-string, twelve-string uh, guitar. Okay. And then on his right side, which is the far left, our newest member. Well, he's not new. He just came back. New newest host. old member. Yeah, old, newest new old, old member. member. Uh, that would be <laughs> yeah. Robbie here. Uh, Robbie, wave your hand in the air and wave it like you just don't okay. care. <laughs> like you can say he's over there. At first, I was uh, in a uh, in a ukulele class. For uh, Uncle Lincoln Caillou and Owen was there too playing. Just showed me so much you know, respect and he felt like an older brother because in my family I'm the oldest, but I never had that older brother to look up to. Al and me were been uh, way back since we were kids playing music. Got stuck with a twelve string, six string guitar, and um, and it started with church. <laughs> we were playing 6:30 mass at St. Philomena, 6:30 mass for three years, and uh, that was the start of it, pretty much. Growing in a Polynesian uh, family, uh, the choice was either you play or you play. So, uh, <laughs> my father was a recording artist back in the late 50s, and he recorded uh, with the Delphi Records, um, and he actually knew Richie Valens which uh, was the creator of La Vamba. Some of the memories I had growing up with, with music is my dad being in the garage and, uh, and you know, practicing all the time. I, I really wasn't into music at that time until later on uh, when I got older. My parents, for one, they had a band in the 70s and um, they've been doing pretty good. And also uncles being entertainers and stuff. Um, Ledward caught up on a real big influence on me, and um, Dennis Baval, uh, Casimiro's, know the Casimiro's, and um, Julio Hanna, which was uh, one of the groups my uncle was in. Yeah, I could say self-taught and watching my aunties, my uncles, and my mom, and my dad play. So, run with it. <laughs> This song is about uh, a twin, and her name is La Ie Ikovai. Um, she was hid, hidden in a cave underwater to be kept from being killed because one of the leaders of this community, 
he wanted a boy and they kept having a girl. So they had to hide her so she wouldn't be killed. She went and stayed in a place called Paliuli. And this song talks about the uh, journey that this one person goes through trying to find her. Um, and she's so beautiful that, that when you go to her house, she's actually off the ground and lifted up by birds. So this song talks about that whole, that whole journey, and it's called La Ie e Kavai. Can you imagine what kind of bird's going to lift me off? <laughs> <laughs> like to see that one. <laughs> Big bird. <laughs> La Ie e